Hi guys, welcome to Heartlight Tarot and Astrology. My name is Holly Marie. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I work with energies of the tarot along with what's going on astrologically to give you guys a predictive forecast. So if that's something that you guys are called to, consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you get notified when I post content. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I'm still working on the website, guys. I'm sorry it's taken so long. I just want it to be perfect and I want to make sure that I set up the classes correctly and um, I want to make sure that all my services are on there in, in a way where I can be proud of when I deliver it to you. So thank you for understanding. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, because when I do post my website, which I believe is going to be June 14th on a live, I'll let you guys know beforehand so you can be ready. But it's going to have... Um, you know, an option for the first five people to sign up for my tarot card course called Navigate Through Your Own Life Tarot that's going to be coming out in September. This class is going to be, um, you know, teaching you about tarot in the beginning part of it, but it's also going to teach you how I navigate through my own life and how I do my readings because I want to share this with you guys. Um, I've been doing this for about the last six years after, you know, my life took some kind of twists and turns and kind of left me helpless. Um, but I also use it in ways of everyday life as well to give me answers and help me to connect with my intuition. And sometimes we're feeling stuck and we need that push to help us connect to the intuition and energy of our own selves. You'll be crazy, um, you know, shocked and blown away by how accurate this is. And I don't want to miss, I don't want you to miss that. I want to share that with you It's my way of getting to know you guys and um, saying thank you for reaching 1000 subscribers subscribers here on youtube um so yeah consider subscribing there's also going to be buy one get one free readings for a very limited time so that's why i'm letting you guys know that i'll let you know when i'm going to be posting the website so that you guys can get all kinds of goodies you guys got your own energy to start with chariot okay chariot is the energy of cancer ten of pentacles your legacy your foundations your forever you know um legacy that you want to leave on this earth Queen of Pentacles, you are determined here, Cancer, you're determined to create some kind of foundation for yourself, some kind of legacy for you and your family to always embark upon. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles, it's like it's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, and the Queen of Pentacles is Taurus or Earth energy. So I feel like you might be working on your land here. Okay, you might be working on your home to kind of try to create some kind of um, roots or foundation. They might be new roots, new goals that you have. Okay. So the chariot's on his way. He's on a mission, right? He has somewhere that he's going. He's not done yet. You also have the 10 of pentacles to clarify. So yeah, you're, <laughs> you have, I'm not kidding. You have two and I've shuffled. I swear you have two 10 of pentacles in your reading. So this is just basically the universe saying that, you know, uh, yeah, that's what's happening. And yeah, that's what, ha that is what's happening. So like a lot of earth here. Okay, so you could have a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your chart. Um, there's also Cancer in here. This is all about you, Cancer. Your energy is coming out very strong right now. Um, you're thinking about every single decision and every single move that you make in order to make sure that each one has a long-lasting effect. Okay, that's what I'm feeling here. Okay, you're, you're wanting to live off of your land. You're wanting to... Um, possibly create some kind of um, financial stability and wealth to overflow for yourself maybe some kind of residual income that's going to continue through the legacies of life that you can leave down to your children or down to your family or down to whoever um, maybe you want to leave this 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 earth with this queen of pentacles energy just being shown that you want to show the world that you're able to be given something and make something out of it so for instance, say you go to the store and you buy a couple things, right? And someone thinks, oh, you're going to be able to make a meal with that. Instead, you make 10. The The queen of pentacles energy is very, um, what's the word I'm trying to say? Resourceful, okay? And I feel like you're going to be using every ounce of your resources in a very positive way. And not only are you going to be doing that, but you're going to be directing your energy, like kind of like a mother earth or father earth energy into your decisions. And you're not going to let your emotions get the best of you, which sometimes cancers can do. So they hide, right? Um, they tend to hide because they're kind of scared of, you know, certain situations. They don't want to offend anybody They're You know, they just want to love and, um, sometimes they tend to hide and they tend to go back in their shell, but I don't see that happening for you right here. I feel like you're moving forward in very an, an intense way that you're able to, you know, plummet through foundations. There's a lot of foundation cards. Like I was saying, you could be working on your home, 
Let me know in the comment box below how that resonates. In the advice, you have the King of Cups and the Five of Cups. So you're on your way to some kind of leadership and far as far of, as like somebody that people can rely on with their emotions. Okay, the King of Cups is somebody that um, is very emotionally mature. He can make very hard decisions and still be there for other people and still be mentally and emotionally mature. Um, the advice also has the Five of Cups. Try not to look at anything that you don't have taste for or anything that you used to like and you don't like anymore because there's so many happy memories attached to it. The King of Cups here is saying that it's time for you to move on and just claim your power in this situation um, because it's going to bring you the emotional stability that you're looking for. You guys got the spider. What do they do? They work on their webs very intricately. And people say that there's no two spider webs that are the same, just like thumbprints. And why do you think that is? Because they're so unique, right? Proposal, a romantic or business opportunity is indicated. You could be going into business with somebody. You could be getting engaged. Maybe that's why you're working so hard on your foundation so you can have like a, um, a positive home life with somebody. Maybe you're renewing your vows. Um, rise above it. It's not yours to carry. You're an empath. How can you detach from the drama? Okay. Maybe there's something around you that like with the five of cups energy, I think maybe you might be trying to carry something for somebody because you care about them. Maybe you're holding on to something for somebody, but it's the cards are telling you that it's not your burden to carry. Okay. It's okay to be emp empathetic with them, empathic with them. Um, it's asking you, how can you detach from the drama? But I feel like you're going to try to do it in a way where you don't hide because it's not going to do you any good. You want to be seen right now. You want to be strong for somebody or for some people in your life. I already got all your cards. All right, I'm going to read. Creator of prosperity through life's work, Dharma. The spider is an ingenious creature. Its greatest gift is weaving the thread of Dharma into a vast, intricate web that supports the spider and those around it, both financially and spiritually. It is hard work, but the spider neither tires nor becomes impatient. This card reminds us creativity is everywhere. Be process-oriented rather than results-oriented, and soon your work becomes the weaving of a magical, priceless tapestry, and abundance follows. So the Ten of Pentacles is here twice talking about your, you know, your, um, your ability to create results that you want, right? But this is telling you that, this card is telling you that, um, think about the, the process because the work and the lessons are in the process. And those lessons are what are what going to help you with your um, legacy that you're looking to create, okay? Um, when in balance, appreciative, enthusiastic, and prosperous. When out of balance, discouraged, tired, and forlorn, to bring into balance playful creativity. So I definitely see that that's a possibility here with the Queen of Pentacles because I feel like she's very playful. Um, that could be, you know, it for some of you guys. Or maybe this is just telling you to, you know, let go of some kind of baggage of burdens that you're holding on to. That you're holding on to some uh, for somebody else because it's not yours to carry. Or maybe it is yours to carry, but it's time for you to move on and create new cups, right? With the Five of Cups energy here. He can fill up his own cups with brand new water at any time. There's water right in front of him. So, um, you know... You're being called to be more playful. It's okay to be serious. Um, I feel like with the spider card, you're, you're being called to be creative as you go. Because things are happening for you. You're not going to be hiding here. So you're, you're not going to be hiding. You're going to be out in the open, Cancer. You're going to be more strong and um, more diligent in the way that you handle certain situations in your personal life. And in your financial life. And in your foundational life. So... I hope that you like your reading. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell and sharing with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.